The first problem of IMO 2020 International Mathematical Olympiad, the most prestigious mathematical competition in the world. We want to show you how to solve a problem, the ways, the methods, the key ideas, the typical ways that you must know for solving most of the, for example, here, geometric problem. We don't want to just consider the solution. We want to learn the ways, the method that helps. So let's see the problem. Problem 1, consider the convex quadrilateral ABCD. The point P is in the interior of ABCD. The following ratio equalities hold the angles PAD, PBA, D and DPA have the ratio 1 to 2 to 3. And the angles CBP, BAP and BPC have the same ratio. Prove that the following three lines meet in a point. The internal bisector of angles ADP and PCB and the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. We draw the quadrilateral and the point P and all the things are in the illustration. Now, when you see a geometric problem, you must consider three steps for approaching the problem. First step is to write all angles that you can. Second is to write all lengths that you can. Third is to find all inscribed quadrilateral or all concyclic points. There are four conditions. Each of them implies that a quadrilateral is inscribed. You must know the four conditions. Two of them are in terms of links and two of them are in terms of angles. Now we want to start the problem. One of the key ideas when you have for example alpha 2 times alpha 3 times alpha is to split up the larger angle or extend the smaller angle. It is true for length as well. Here, we wanna. Why do we uh, split up or extend an angle? It's because to make equal angle, so we can make isosceles triangle. Here, we can see that if we split up this angle into two parts, that the above, uh, if the above is alpha then we can make an isosceles triangle because it is alpha too so let's see the illustration after drawing the line here it is alpha and alpha as well so axp is an isosceles triangle this angle is exterior angle of axp so it is two times alpha alpha plus alpha now, we can, as we can see, PXD is an isosceles triangle too. By the same way, we can prove these two triangles are isosceles as well. And now, we write the angles. The second step that I said already, you want to find the third step. You want to find inscribed quadrilateral. The first condition here you see it. It's two times beta, two times beta. This is exactly the first condition that implies A, B, Y, and P are concyclic points. By the same way, you can conclude that A, B, P, and X are concyclic. As you can see, A, B, and P are three common points in these two concyclic points. So you can see say that A, B, Y, P, and X are concyclic because uh, from uh, at three points, you can pass a unique triangle, a, a unique circle. When you want to see the circle of three points, you have a unique circumcircle. So, if you draw the circle of A, B, and P, then you can see it passes from X and Y. 
and we can conclude a, b, y, p, and x are concentric. Now we draw the circle. As we can see here, uh, the three lines are here. We must prove that these three red lines meet in a point. This is internal bisector of this angle. Uh, PXD is an isosceles triangle, so we can say that this red line is perpendicular bisector of PX. PX is a chord of circle, so this red line passes the center of the circle. By the same way, we can prove that these two red lines pass center of the circle as well. So the problem has been proved.